Hey guys, welcome back. If you guys decided to stick along and not unsubscribe, I lost a good amount of people after my last video, but that is okay. We're gonna keep marching on. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying a bunch of new makeup to me. So it's not necessarily new on the market, just new to my collection. And we're just gonna do some chit chatting and just get glam together. So if you'd like to stick around, then please keep watching. But, but before we jump into that, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. Yes, Jeffree Star Cosmetics has taken me off of PR after three years of being devoted to the brand. One video resulted in me being removed from the PR list. Like I mentioned in my last video, I want to separate myself from the brand, so this is the best way to do it. Today, we're going to be trying some One Size Beauty. We're going to be trying some Peter Thomas Roth. I'm trying some Rare Beauty. We have some Makeup Forever, that viral Hailey Bieber lip liner. I got my hands on it and tons more stuff. So definitely stick around and stay tuned. All right, let's dive into this new makeup. I have been waiting and I am so excited to try this. I wish I was trying that new Chanel foundation, but that's still on the way to me. I could not track it down in any store. It's completely sold out. I cannot wait to try that for you guys. But first, we're gonna start with this guy here. So this went viral a little while back. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. So this, a lady on TikTok demonstrated it and it had the most insane results. Like she was all wrinkly and then it just completely pulled her back. So it says here that it visibly tightens firms and soothes the eye area to temporarily minimize the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines and deep wrinkles while diminishing the look of under eye puffiness. So that is a lot of claims. Let's throw this on right now. I'm going to zoom you guys in. I'll do it on one eye and not the other and we'll see what it does. We'll give it a couple minutes and see what it does. I'm just so curious. So I zoomed you guys in. It's been sitting now for about two minutes. So remember that it's on this eye. You can literally see, okay, I almost just gouged my eye out. You can literally see here the bag is completely gone. Is it or am I making that up or is it my lighting? No, it is gone. This one is completely bagless. It also looks less creasy than this side in my opinion. Let me give you a straight on look. So let's put some makeup on top of this and see how it looks. I'm gonna put it on the other eye. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out, one second. Okay, I am absolutely loving the way this feels on my skin. I can definitely see a difference using it. This bag is still here, but just if you give it a couple minutes, it'll be gone. So far, so good with this. I don't know that I necessarily need it yet. Like I'm not as liney or whatever, but like everyone can reduce the bags under their eyes. Am I right? Definitely going to be using this more and I want to give it to my mom to try and see what it does for her because honestly, I'm really, really impressed. I'm going to go in with some concealer. What I like to do is my eyes first and today, not only are we going to be trying a brand new concealer, I'm also trying a brand new eyeliner. I've been wearing eyeliner since I was like 13 years old. So like I'm very finicky about it. I've heard such good things about the one size eyeliner. So we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes. But first I'm gonna do a little base on my eyes. Lately, um, okay, if I had gotten the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics collection in PR, I would be definitely more inclined to use that on my eyes, but I didn't receive it and I really don't love it enough to purchase it on my own. It's a lot, to me, it's a lot of his old palettes just combined into one, which is good for people who don't have that, but because I have it, wasn't really too enthused by the palette, but I wanna show you guys what I've been doing lately with my eyes. First, we're gonna be going in with some concealer. So I've been seeing this concealer absolutely everywhere. This is the Forever Skin Corrector from Dior. I have heard such good things about this. If you watched my last video, you know that I'm on the hunt for a concealer. So let's give this one a go and see how it goes. So I use a beauty blender typically to blend out my concealer. So I'm just gonna put, oh, I really, really like the applicator. It's nice and juicy. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Hopefully this is the right color match. And a little bit here. I think it's a bit dark for concealer. Damn it. Sam, I should have listened to you. So that's typically what I do. I just give my eye a little base because of that deep color it has on it. Cover up the veins and the hideousness. <sighs> dog hairs, dog hairs. Now I'm gonna set those eyes with some Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Powder. I have been using this for years. What do you guys use for powder? Is there anything comparable to this? I would love to know. 
leave it in the comments for sure. So I'm gonna be trying something new with my makeup today that I haven't done. I have always done my blush and my contour and everything on top of my foundation. What I wanna to try to do today is do it underneath. And this was brought about by the purchase of this baby here. So this is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. So it is extremely pigmented. I found that when I was putting it on top of my makeup, I would consistently have to go in with something and pat it out, then it wasn't enough, so I had to go back in. So this is a stunning product, but I do think that there's a learning curve with how to use it. So we're gonna try today to put that as well as my contour underneath. Both of these are relatively new to my collection. This is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in medium. So what I'm gonna do is start with that. I typically just put it in these areas here. I always put this higher than where I think it needs to go because for some reason it always ends up lower. I'm gonna use my favorite new sponge, the Coco Cosmetic Sponge, and I'm just gonna tap this out before we go in with the blush and then the foundation. By the way, if you're looking for a contour, if you're looking for a liquid cream contour, I have been loving this. I've been using it every single time I've done my makeup since I've received it received it. I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury wand every single time I've done my makeup since I've purchased it and I frigging love it. I really like Charlotte Tilbury's products. Majority of their stuff I will always always wear because I love it. Always looks blended here on my monitor that I look in my mirror and I'm like ah! <laughs> okay. Oh my god these stupid baby hairs. I cannot wait to tell you guys about my hair journey and what Olaplex did to my hair. I asked a poll on Instagram of if you guys would be interested in watching. A lot of you were. A lot of people were like oh my gosh I've, I've only ever heard good things about Olaplex. It ruined my hair and I can't wait to tell you guys why. Just just take like right now there is so much gel and garbage in my hair to keep down all these broken baby hairs at my crown. I've never dyed my hair in my life. How heartbreaking. Now we're gonna go in with this blush you're gonna see in a second. How one dip. One dip. Okay. This is by the way in the shade happy. Every that was too much. Everything will always, always be listed in the description section. Always, always. Let's blend this out. Look at, look at how pigmented. I look like a clown. Oh my God. I put too much on, I know it. This time I did it. This time I did it. Like I love it to look a little sunburnt, you know? I think it's so cute. And it's really like youthful and pretty, especially for the summer. Okay. I feel like nuts. I feel like it's kind of washes it out in my camera and you guys can't see how insanely pigmented this is, but it is so pigmented. So if you want to try this, guys, just a word to the wise. If you finish all your makeup, you're going in on your finishing touch with your blush. Word to the wise. Less is a more with this product. Less is more. I really like Rare Beauty so far. I am impressed. Contour is on. So I'm going to do now the foundation. Like I said, oh no, actually we have one more step. My girlfriend also told me to put this underneath. When I was putting the Hollywood filter on top of my makeup after it was done, like I would normally place my highlight, I was noticing that it was just leaving and stripping off my makeup. So I want to try to put this underneath and see how that goes. I have literally never put anything, oh, I've never put it underneath. So I really don't know if veiling it like this, what to expect. It's like, I feel like it might be pretty. Love this stuff. I can totally understand why it's viral. It is so pretty. Everything is on underneath. Now we're gonna go in with foundation. Like I mentioned, I really wanted to use that new Chanel foundation. It is so stunning. It's like, Oh, the most glowy, beautiful finish I've ever seen. I'm so excited to get my hands on that. But we're going to go in with my typical Armani. This is in shade 6.5. This is the Luminous Silk. I'm still using it to this day. And this one's almost done. I really like the way underneath my eyes looks. I, I haven't even got in with concealer yet. I'm shook. Okay. I'm going to put some of this on over top. I have a feeling it's just going to take everything away. Let's see. Look at how fast... This Coco Cosmetics sponge blends out your face makeup. Okay, yeah, I feel like that covered everything. Maybe this foundation has too much coverage to do this type of thing with. Do you guys have experience with putting the liquid stuff underneath? I was expecting a little more. I think we'll have to go with a little bit on top as well. I always wanted to try veiling, so at least now I have. Before I go in with a little extra on top to redefine that, I'm gonna finally try this concealer. I am so freaking excited. I have such high hopes for it. It looks really nice above my eye. 
absolutely love this applicator. Okay. Don't really know how much to use. Good. Well, I always go in with my standard beauty blender for underneath my eyes because it just gets in there obviously better than that big face sponge. Okay, I'm already loving it. Very pretty. Great coverage. Wow, it feels so nice underneath my eyes. There's no scent, which I love. This is looking, I look 10 years younger. I look fresh and oh, I love it, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, let's quickly set this before it creases. So again, I'm gonna go in with that Charlotte Tilbury. Wow, that is pretty. I really like that. All right, eyes are concealed. It is looking simply stunning. We'll have to see how this wears. So definitely guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want an update. I can leave it in the comments if it creased, if it whatever, if it wore weird, we'll find out. Okay, something I'm noticing about that Peter Thomas stuff is that it's left some type of flakiness here. So that's a little annoying, but for underneath the eye, girl. I think I see a little bit of that blush peeking through, but I wanna go in with just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna, just the smallest amount, cause like I said, it is extremely pigmented. I love the glow it gives after. Oh my God, it's a very beautiful product, I will say. So I want to go in with a little bit more warmth. So I'm going to go with some bronzer with my Tom Ford brush. And it, this is the Fenty Beauty Private Island. This is my go-to. I've been using this for years. I just want to add the slightest bit of color without going in with that liquid and making a big mess again. So the next new to me product that I'm going to be trying is this guy here. So this is Eyebrows Big Boost Fiber Gel from MAC. Because I have my eyes microbladed, if you pull up some of my videos from back in the day when I was getting glam with you guys and my eyebrows were empty, rough times let me tell you needless to say getting them done has been life-changing but i noticed that when i do my makeup the foundation and the powders i use kind of fall into it and make it look gray so i just wanted something that was really minimal that i could run through my brows after i've done all the other face stuff so we're gonna try this here this is in the shade spike okay it's really dry Are you doing anything mm. Did it do anything, guys? Like a little bit. Okay, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the brow stuff. I mean, it gave me a little something, gave a little color back, but I think I was kind of hoping for a little bit more from this. I don't know if I'll use it again, but we'll give it a go and see. Okay, so I said I was gonna do on the top of my eyes and I didn't even do that. So what I've been doing is either taking the Hollywood contour wand and dabbing a little bit on and then just putting it, just so there's a little bit of a backdrop on the eye after I put concealer, or I go in with my Fenty Beauty and just like a regular fluffy blender. This is my Morphe M441. This is the shade Private Island. I just literally haphazardly go in, just do a little bit of that. That is pretty much it. Again, if I had the new palette, what is it, the wedding palette? I don't even know what it's called. If I had the new palette, I would have definitely done that for you guys because a lot of you did express in my comment section of my last video that if they continue to keep you on PR, please do review the Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff, but they didn't and I don't really like this collection, so I'm not gonna go out of my way. All right, let's try this one size eyeliner. I have seen this so much all over the place, but I hate doing my eyeliner on camera because I do that pulling the eye thing. I have like slightly hooded eyes or like crinkly eyes or something. Okay, this is taking so long to open. I have slightly hooded or whatever eyes, so it helps when I do that pull. I know you're not supposed to. That's why I don't do it on camera because like, why am I trying to show you guys something you're not supposed to do? This is it. Okay, so it's a spa, it's a felt tip and not a brush tip. I typically prefer brush tip, but let's give this a try. And this is why I don't like doing this on camera. Okay, that is a way bigger wing than I wanted. Okay, so I accidentally deleted the footage of me continuing the eyeliner. Needless to say, I messed it up. I had to wipe it off a bunch of times and I am not a fan of the product. I'm gonna talk more about it in a little bit. I also put on the Hailey Bieber lip liner and I absolutely loved it. I also took a Makeup Forever pencil and I drew it in my waterline, but of course that footage all got cut. Sorry guys. All right guys, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But what I did was do this beautiful, beautiful 
lip liner all over my lips. This is the shade that Hailey Bieber was ranting and raving about. She literally mentioned it once and it's been ungettable. One of my girlfriends is actually a pro makeup artist, so she has access to the Makeup Forever private loft that's just for professional makeup artists. So she actually snagged this up for me. You are unable to get it anywhere. Last time I checked, it's completely sold out. It is a very, very beautiful nude. Like, look at that. You could wear this every day without it being aggressive, like too dark or anything. I really, really like it. No wonder so many people loved it. And I also just literally filled it in on my whole lip and I had a very light layer of balm underneath, which I do think made it more emollient and helped the pencil run. It's not the most emollient liner, but I love them so frigging much that I bought all of these. The camera also turned off. I wanted to show you how I use this Boundless Bisque one in my waterline and how it just, it brings my face alive. It pops the eyes, I love it. It doubles the size of my teeny tiny eyes and it's so bomb. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm gonna throw these on in the style Doha. I am planning on doing a dedicated video of all my favorite Lily Lashes styles, trying them on for you guys, an updated one. I did one way back, but now I've definitely upgraded my equipment and lighting and all that good stuff. So I wanted to do a video for you guys just about that to hone in on which one of these would be best for your eyes. So definitely stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna quickly hop off, throw these on, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the final touches. Lashes are on. And if you guys have noticed, I'm not rocking my contacts today. Typically I wear like a blue contact. A lot of you have recently commented on my recent posts and said, I love your brown eyes. Like I wish you would not rock the contacts as much. So I thought, why not give them a little break? I love the option of them being there because it's just like lashes. It's like, why not dress up the look a little bit? But I like the option of being able to switch in between. So now we're gonna go in with the finishing touches. So I wanna talk about this guy here. This is the MAC Stack Mascara. I have been using this nonstop. That pro makeup artist girlfriend I told you about gifted me with this guy. I absolutely have been loving it. So what I'm gonna do is help meld my lashes into my real lash by using this, and then we're gonna also coat the lower lashes. Such a good mascara. It's really thick though, so like if you don't like chunky and thick, you might not love it, but it really does its job. Okay, so far loving the crap out of this concealer. The Peter Thomas Rothman, I really like and I will use again, but it gave me a crusty here. I will say that. I really, really extra like the way this mascara looks on the bottom lashes. All right, mascara is done. Now that highlight Mm, pretty much disappeared when I put the foundation on top. So I wanna go in with a powder one on top. I'm gonna use my tried and true hourglass one. So this is the strobe light that they have, but they always make these palettes. I don't know if they, I've been so out of the makeup game. Do they still make these? Let me know in the comments. But I, there's something about this highlight that just never gets frigging old to me. I always go back to it. It is so stunning, I love. All right, we are almost done. We're gonna go in with our setting spray. This is of course the All Nighter Urban Decay. I have not switched away from this. All right, this is the finished look. So now let's talk about the new products I tried and if I recommend them for you. So first up, the liner, I'm gonna say no to this. If you like a brush tip, like I can't even look at this liner right now, it's making me angry how it looks. I don't like it at all. Um, first of all, it has a shiny finish. I do not like liners that have, uh, black liners that have a shiny finish. And I did not like the belt tip applicator on here. I had no control. I couldn't really get precise like I wanted to. So far, it looks like I'm gonna have to stick with my tried and true, and that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. I find I can just whip out a line so fast, I had to go in, wipe it down, wipe it down again, and I still don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna say no to this. It is very pigmented. It flows really easily, but it's just not my favorite kind of eyeliner. Up next, let's talk about the Dior Forever Skin Correct. I am instantly a fan of this. I've been on the market for a new concealer. My Tarte Shape Tape has been my go-to for years and years now, but I find it's a little bit too drying. So I tried the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I definitely did not like this guy. It creases a lot. I actually, so I don't waste it, I've been using it all over my face instead. But upon first using it, I was like, no, this is not for me. 
The Dior one, on the other hand, I am instantly impressed. Whether it's that Peter Thomas Rothman underneath or not, I can tell I really, really like the coverage of it. I really like that it's not creasing and it looks very beautiful on the skin. The MAC Stack Mascara, absolutely love. Instant favorite, I'll be reaching for it all the time. I like how it applies on the lower lashes more than the upper lashes, I will say. Then the Rare Beauty Happy Liquid Blush, so, so pretty. There's a little bit of a learning curve when you use it, but I think it's stunning. It brings the face alive. It gives you a little glow, a little youthfulness. So pretty. The Makeup Forever infamous Hailey Bieber favorite liner I absolutely love. What's so gorgeous about these artist color pencils is you can use them all over your face. You can use them in your brows, as an eyeliner, anything you want. And I love the versatility of them. That is why I purchased so many. I think they're wonderful. And last but certainly not least, the Peter Thomas Rothman Instant Firm Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. It absolutely says what it's gonna do. If my skin was a little bit more crepey and aged, I know the results on camera would have been shocking, but it really did a lot. I'm really smooth under here. I feel like the bags are excessively lifted. If you're on the market and looking for something to help you with skin issues like tight tightening underneath your eyes, crow's feet, I would highly give this a go because I am so impressed. I'm definitely gonna be using this a ton more. And that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around if you decided to after the big changes around here. I am so happy to dive into this again. I feel a rebirth of everything. Like I am just so unbelievably happy and I'm so happy you decided to stick around. All right guys, so I am off. Thank you so so much for watching and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one. Bye guys.